Hello everyone, and welcome to my presentation on Troy Maxson's character analysis and how intergenerational trauma ultimately restricts children's opportunities. Today, I'll be speaking to Fences by August Wilson. In the year 1985, playwright August Wilson wrote and published the play Fences. In Fences, Troy, a 53-year-old African-American, is the focus of Wilson's attention. The drama, which is set in the 1950s, uses the concept of baseball to describe Troy Maxson's struggles with his personal obstacles. The story mainly revolves around Troy's problems in life regarding his family. One of the drama's critical problems was the dynamic between Troy and his son, Corey. Troy also has a mistress, which causes him and his wife, Rose, to quarrel. As Troy placed his desires before his family, connections in the story eventually fall apart. Here's more on Troy Maxson. Troy is the central character of Fences. His life has been shaped by the negative consequences of racism, including the difficulties it cost him to face as a child and the career goals it shattered. Troy is constantly living in the shadow of what could have been. Troy, unfortunately, refuses to adapt to the times, which has an impact on his family. Troy's actions, which are influenced by his background, have an impact on those around him. For example, Troy, quote, went up to the school and told Coach Zielman, I can't play football no more, end quote. Through Troy's acts, the racism of his upbringing continues to be expressed, influencing a new generation of people. As a result of his experiences, Troy has evolved into a man who both advocates and insists on rigid practicality in order to protect himself and his family. Troy Maxson has an unyielding faith in his beliefs and principles. He is more than willing to sacrifice anything in order to defend what he believes to be right. Troy exhibited this quality when he criticized his boss for never allowing black men to operate the garbage trucks. He didn't hesitate to express his feelings and opinions. He won't give up until he gets what he wants. Finally, Troy, quote, got a promotion on the rubbish. He's going to be the first colored driver, end quote. So here's what I envision Troy to look like. And Troy is described by August Wilson as a large black man with thick hands. Furthermore, together with his blackness, his largeness informs his sensibilities and the choices he had made in his life. So here's my thesis on intergenerational trauma and fences. So throughout fences, Troy is an over-the-top character that is impulsive, aggressive, and stubborn as a result of his past. By incorporating the stories of three generations of Max and men, fences shows the harmful ways in which intergenerational trauma may be passed down and ultimately limit possibilities for children. Troy wants Corey to look for a regular career to support the family, while Corey wants to play professional football. Furthermore, Troy is stuck in the past and cannot see Corey as a professional athlete due to his own experiences with racism. Troy has always been against Corey's dreams of being a professional football player, and he didn't stop until he made sure his son's career was impossible. Troy was a baseball star before developing a resentment since the major leagues only began accepting black peers when he was too old to play. He informed Corey's football coach that his son will never play the game again. Troy doesn't want Corey to encounter discrimination and racism in the sporting environment. Therefore, he takes this action. Corey gives Troy's examples of African Americans who have become professional athletes. But Troy doesn't believe the world has changed enough to accept African Americans and crushes Corey's dreams in the process. This limited Corey's possibilities and impacted his self esteem greatly. So here's on Troy's relationships in the play Fences. Troy's relationship with his son Corey is influenced by his harsh upbringing. His father's abusive parenting style was the only one he had ever known. At the age of 14, Troy decided to leave his household. Being forced to make such a difficult choice at such a young age can truly cause trauma. When emotions aren't dealt with, they can't help but leak out and affect other aspects in a person's life. Unresolved trauma can resurface later in life and taint future relationships, even if it may not manifest in the most evident way. Troy's ability to handle conflict with his son, Corey, is significantly impacted by the wounds that remain on his heart. 
When Corey confronts Troy, he is removed from Troy's home. At first sight, this conflict could seem like a typical way to discipline a misbehaving child, but it was a trauma response to decades of suppressed fear and rage. Troy is aware that he is mostly responsible for the problems that are happening around him, but he will not admit it. Instead of adapting a more upbeat approach and taking responsibility for his errors, he opts to blame his family. For one of the instances of how Troy's stubbornness affects his relationship with his family is the one he has with his eldest son, Leon's. Troy had numerous opportunities to step up and act as more of a father role in Leon's life, but he chooses not to. Troy, in my eyes, is a man who is hypocritical and pushes his trauma onto everyone in his family, which can also be seen in his relationship with Rose. Over time, the closeness and commitment of Troy's and Rose's relationship altered, and Troy began to cheat on Rose. However, Rose persisted and took care of Troy's problems, including looking after Raylene. Everyone can ultimately perceive Troy as being foolish, So here's the significance of Troy in Fences. This drama serves as an illustration of the difficulties faced by African-American families in the 1950s and demonstrates how many families broke apart due to adultery and insecurity. Troy encountered prejudices that had an impact on his life, and as a result, he felt his sons should take a more realistic approach by finding regular jobs, ultimately limiting their opportunities. If the color of his skin would have been different, his career may have been more successful, and he wouldn't be insecure seeking out affairs to validate himself. Troy's representation was significant because it illustrated how intergenerational trauma affected African Americans at the time. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Troy Maxson and how intergenerational trauma ultimately limits children's opportunities. And note how I haven't cited any pictures because I did draw them all myself. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.